You are now listening to the Crisis Hour Podcast. Future and Wilson could have an altercation, and we could find out Russell Wilson might have some hands. You never know until something goes down, but hopefully nothing goes down. I mean, they're both adults. They're making way too much money for that type of stuff to be going on. But at least from what we see in social media, they're not... They're not acting like how much they're 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 getting paid. I mean, to me me personally, at a certain point, some of this stuff is not not a possibility. Right. Because I can't. And indi- I mean, Ru- Russell Westbrook said it. The last time I did something to the fans or reacted to some of these petty things from the fans, y'all y'all find me what I think it was twenty twenty five thousand dollars or something. You know, what I mean, he's like, I'm not doing that no more. Right. Whether you're a millionaire or not, to yeah. me, that, that's, that's just a, that's in my just pocket. A, I'm not trying to come off that. Yeah, no. Nah. I don't care what the fine is. I could have a billion dollars. If they find me 10 racks. I'm pissed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's um. That's just how I am about my money. Like, I'm not willing to give away money for nothing. That's like giving away free money. I'm not going to go outside. It doesn't make business sense. It doesn't make common sense. You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand that type of thought process, man. And some businesses are, are just like that, like... Yeah, we ain't, we we ain't gonna go into that. that though. But yeah, man. we got a lot of like I said, this is the crisis, our right, folks. We're here. You it is know. a crisis though. <laughs> Bring y'all a lot of things. It's gonna be going on a lot of things this year. It's 2017. We're here. New podcast, Crisis Hour. I'm your host Matt Will, aka L Marcy. Here with M Dot Blue Blueprint Productions. You know it. You know We're making it. some you know noise it. this year. We're gonna be covering a lot of things. You're gonna be able to catch us a lot of places. Check us out. If you got anything, any questions for us, you can hit us at, at the Crisis Hour Podcast at gmail.com. Okay. Once again, it's the Crisis Hour Podcast at gmail.com. Hit us up. Let us know what you think. We're going to move on to the next topic, which we got another one for y'all. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. <laughs> I seen T.I. come up with some stuff today, and he had a really lot. A lot of shit about Donald Trump. Yeah. Soon when I get this clip, I'll play it for y'all. Hey, what's happening there, everybody? Man, uh, happy King Day to you. Uh, man, I'm just getting up, and I'm seeing all this stuff on TV, man. Look, I'm going to tell you, all you celebrities, black, minority, all of you, man, athletes, man, all of you. Look, let me tell you something. There's a strategic plan. That people are trying to make you a part of, okay? So do not accept any invitation to have any meeting, no matter how positive you think the outcome may be. Without understanding, man, people have a very willy lynch agenda, okay? And you being there, being seen with them taking pictures and smiling and being positive, it may seem positive to you, but there's a hidden agenda, man. And you might not know it. But now, you have been warned. Do not go in there unless you have a strategy or you with John Lewis or somebody who can represent us. Okay, man, so let me be specific with you, man. I'm explaining to you in great detail. All right, step by step. I seen all these people over the weekend going back and forth in and out there, man, officers. If you want to take a picture, then cool. That's what you do. But let me show you exactly where they're coming from, okay? They seen how adamantly against him being president, the hip-hop community, and the young black people was in America. So what did they do? They get Kanye West to come in. Well, he's their representative. They listen to his music. They buy his shoes. They go see him in concert. Well, surely if we take a picture with him, he smiles and says he's cool with it. They'll fall right in line. Okay. And also, you know, you got black women. You know, they were against it. Well, who speaks to the black women? Steve Harvey. Let's get him in here. He'll take a picture. He'll smile. He'll say it's cool. They'll fall right in line. Who else? They love football. Let's get Ray Lewis. Let's get Jim Brown. They were the heroes. Surely if they say they're cool with it. And also on the on the week where you're going back and forth with Martin Luther King, homeboy, one of the most prolific civil rights activists of our times, you're going to get Martin Luther King's son or Martin Luther King Day to come in there and meet with you? And y'all got to see this, man. Divide and conquer. Okay, so this may sound a bit more critical, you know what I mean? And not that I want to sit at a judgmental seat or that I'm holier than thou or nothing like that, man, but... I mean, I don't want kids looking at this, man, to think just because I ain't saying nothing that I'm all right with it, you know what I mean? Uh, and first of all, let me tell you this. There's nothing wrong with sitting down across from anybody, no matter how different your views may be from theirs or, you know, what, how different your backgrounds may be. Uh, as long as they give you the basic human decency of respecting your, your, your values, respecting your ancestors' legacies, and, and, and they're not representing hate groups that are 
adamantly against your advancement and progressions as a people, all right? With that being said, Kanye, what the fuck you doing, man? Steve, man, you know way better than that, man. You know what I'm saying? Jim Brown, really? Martin Luther King, man, this your goddamn daddy birthday, bro. You gonna go and sit down with, hey, man, divide and conquer, bro. And about what you think about this whole situation, man? Man, um, Donald Trump is an interesting figure, bro. Excuse me. I got a couple different sides to it. Me personally, I don't, I live in America. I'm on Team America. Mm -hmm. Just like any other sport, I'm not gonna hate on the coach because if the coach loses, I lose. So Correct. I'm I'm with Trump until we replace him with somebody else. But at the same time, the stuff that he has said, I don't think we can just like act like it wasn't said. You know what I mean? And correct. You mean as far as like the mocking the retarded kid and all the that? The retarded kid, stuff? I don't think that's very presidential. I don't think it's the the best ideal for the president to always be on Twitter. Right. I'm not a real big fan of that. So did you hear what T.I. said? Did you listen to any of that? Did about the Willie Lynch uh, mindset and the yeah. whole agenda right. behind it. I listened to a little bit of it. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know about it. I don't know about just going and shaking a hand. It, it seems real fishy. Um, it seems like a lot of self-promotion is going on, which I can't blame them for. But at the same time, I think, I don't know. I think people are exposing right. themselves a little bit. And I, I mean, I kind of get where T.I. coming from with the whole Trump thing. But just going back to what you just said, like, he's the president. And if he lose, we lose. That's how I see it. So yeah. it's like, I got to hope he win. Yeah. Regardless of the situation. You I got to. Because at the end of the day... He holds your kind of life in his here. hands. Like, yeah, yeah you live, live in here. America. So, we, the only thing we could do is hope that he win. And I, I see a lot of people giving backlash to Flo Rider about accepting the million dollars to perform at the inauguration. And, Why would and, I not? And I'm like, me personally, just my opinion once again is like, I'm a performer. Like me, I'm an artist outside of this. Mm -hmm. If somebody's going to pay me a million dollars to perform, that's my job. I mean, you going to pay me two million not to perform? That's actually a Probably question. not. You know what I mean? So, I got a family to feed. I got a kid to feed. I'm, I'm going to take the million dollars. Yeah. It's a business end of the day. I might not personally like Trump, but he offered me a service that I could offer yeah. Yeah. and deliver on. And end of the day, let's be honest, this might actually help for a while because of course he's going to live on the inauguration... In front of a lot of people. The world. That probably don't know who you is. Bro, everyone's going to be watching this. There's going to be a percentage so of them watching like, it for something bad to happen. There's a percentage of them watching it for, to celebrate the inauguration. There's right. a percent, there's, everybody's going to be watching it. So as a performer, entertainer, anybody, I understand. Man, I got to well, take I, that. I, I'm sorry. I agree. You I see what entertainers are saying. I'm scared to perform because I believe if I perform, my fan base is going to come at me negative. Like, I'm going to lose fans behind that. And that could happen. And that's a possibility. That's almost a certainty. But the thing is, like, end of the day is, you getting paid to perform. Your job is an artist to entertain. It's the president of the United States. My issue is, if I'm an entertainer and they invite me, with this particular president, because of all the tension behind this particular president, I would feel... <laughs> Even as a manager, I would feel concerned for my artist safety. I watch a lot of the, the back end of the politics and don't take it, you know, I don't eat the drink the Kool-Aid. I, I watch, watch, and make my own assessment. Uh -huh. And there's a there's a higher possibility, possibility than usual that something dumb could happen. And me personally, if I'm a manager, number one, I want to protect my artist. Number two, uh -huh. I want to protect my revenue. You know what I mean? Number but, usually my artists are people I know, so it's number one is the artist. But if you're somebody that's you know isn't really connected to your artist and you're just a business person represent somebody, why would you want something that's feeding you to die possibly or get hurt? You know what I mean? And that's another flip side, like you said, is that you ain't got to die to hurt. You could hurt your brand and be dead. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's tricky when it, it's tricky. But I think like as far as the that's my problem with Steve Harvey. A lot of his fan base is black and a lot of black folks aren't feeling Trump. Right. You know what I mean? And as far like T.I. said it earlier, he thinks that like, okay, like, who do the black woman listen to? Steve Harvey. 
So True. oh, let's call Steve Harvey in for a meeting. And exactly. That that'll get the black woman on our side. Yeah. And that could be the case, but what if that's not the case? Yeah. 